Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Brands Hatch. This week, we're not here for Festival Italia because that's already happened. See the previous video on that. Instead, we're here for the Mini Festival. As you can see, having a look around, plenty of minis here to go and have a look at. Let's go and do that. We start our video by having a look at the BRHC, the B Road Hunting Club. We've got a lovely selection of R53 minis just here. And this quite heavily tuned mini to say the least. You can see that because no front engine, so you've got a large radiator, fuel tank, there's your washer bottle. The engine I imagine will be in the back slash middle. And it is clearly not standard. An F56. Countryman. And a paceman as well, they're quite rare. They're only sold for about four years. Between, I think it was 2015, 2019. Either way, they were not around that long. A GP. Cooper S is quite a few JCWs here. John Cooper Works minis. Only one GP at this point. 1,264, of course. I think there's only about 3,000 of these made in total to sell globally. Or at least 3,000 came to the UK. I'm not quite sure of my facts on that. I'd have to double check. But either way, a mighty beast. The most powerful of the mini range as of this current uh, moment in time. In typical British show fashion, it has now started to rain. Nonetheless, we shall have a look. We are now at the Miniax only group. Plenty of minis to whet everyone's appetite. An R50 mini. Mini Coupe, an R58. Again, a bit like the Paceman, not many of these around, not too many sold in the first place, so they're quite rare now. This one's got de-chromed light surrounds. These are quite cool little spot lamp covers actually, I really like those. Clubman next to it, purple graphics, R55. Of course, a car you'll be no doubt quite familiar with now. Millie the Mini, my Mini of course. Come down here with the Mini Axe group today. Yes, we were camping and it was pretty wet and hence the roof box on there. But the roof box is good. It does its job well. R53 Mini next to me. A little example this one, loving the mix of grey, black and red detailing. Next to that is a Mini Clubman with a Honda Type R engine, double overhead cam VTEC. So you can imagine this is quite powerful. Overheard the owner earlier, as I haven't had a chance to speak to him yet, saying that it was just as quick and just as powerful as any of the new Minis just over on this side. Of course, we can't ignore the cars on this side. Little Cooper just there, Cooper S. F36 Cooper S's, some of them JCWs, and an R53. Mini GP, again, R53. Mini convertible. Now, these are a little bit like the Coupe in the sense that not too many of them sold at all, really. Of course, style very much shared with the coupe version. I mean, this one obviously has the roof go down into the back, hence being a convertible. It's not quite as practical as the usual convertible, such as that one over there, because obviously four seats, so you can transport your family around in reasonable comfort. But perfect little roadster, for a bit of fun. That is what this is called, by the way, roadster, not a convertible. Getting my facts mixed up slightly there. Anyway, next to it, I actually saw one of these at the uh, Mini and Metro show at the British Motor Museum, but didn't get a chance to see it before it left. On camera, this is. This is a Mini Paddy Hopkirk edition. Now, of course, as I mentioned previously, Paddy Hopkirk being the uh, 
the man that took Mini to rallying fame in the 1964 Monte Carlo rally. And so Mini in 2020 revealed a special edition to honour him and his achievements with the brand. Lovely little car. Take a quick walk through. Love the custom badge work on this one. Mr. Bean's Teddy in that one as well. I'm not sure if you can quite see because of the lighting. There we go. Mini Cooper, R50 this one. A very pinky purple Mini. Of course, many of these Minis have got little characters inside of them. When I say characters, I mean stuffed animals. This one's had Kill All Chrome bits used on it. Of course, I mentioned Kill All Chrome at Castle Coon. They're here again today, a bit further down. But Kill All Chrome essentially do road trips and sell bits for Minis, BMW 1 Series and Fiat 500s to de-chrome your car. Another coupe. This one with an interesting colour scheme in that it wasn't standard at all. I believe the blue on it is just a wrap. Either way, I think it works nicely. Complements the black very well. F56 JCW. Another Roadster. Quite a few little interesting nuggets in this group. None of the wheels on this one though. These look good. On this side, you've got a mini paceman Cooper S which has been to caffeine and machine. Custom badge on it, which looks really cool, I think. This particular one is for sale at the minute. £9,000, basically. 53,000 miles. Cooper S 1.6 turbo. As always, this thing could be yours. This is a convertible done up with later style lights have these obviously aftermarket for these cars quite popular upgrade on these as you can see this one's got it as well little detailing stuff in there dragons cool little cars obviously the flags flying for the group and here we've got a mini with plenty of chrome wind deflectors as well it's got a mini based trailer. So it's basically like my little camping trailer that I've got. And it's made out of the back half of a mini. Which I think is quite cool. Before we move on to the next group, just wanted to point out these little graphics underneath the bonnet. I think these are quite cool. Obviously, being aqua graphic, so. That's the process of putting a graphic in the water that's obviously designed to be there. Then swirling around the object you wish to put the graphic on and it sticks to it. And then maybe put some lacquer over the top to help keep it. But I thought that was cool. Same with this bonnet stay as well. Right, we are at the Mini Life stand now. In front of me I've got this lovely Clubman 1275 GT in surf blue. As I've said in previous shows, one of the best colours for the classic Mini. Oh, it's a lovely Cooper S here. I like the wheel on this. They're really cool. I like the centre caps as well. This Elridge Mini. Probably one of the very earliest of the single point injection cars, I would imagine. No, it has a carburetor because it's got a choke. Okay, it's one of the latest of the carburetor cars then. The left red mini. This mini with a Leyland badge. I like that badge quite a lot. And so I put one on for the BMC and Leyland show. This mini here. It's got two wombles in the back. I love the colour on this one though. And the custom graphics down the side which say mini life as well. That's neat. And the van style grill or pickup style grill as well. This one's been done just so I think it just screws on and off. It's quite useful rather than being welded in. 
at the back. You've got this mini with not quite Miglia style arches, however they are pretty wide and obviously built for uh, competition use. Suggests a bit more power than standard behind there. Clubman GT, a little bit of rust forming. But again, that's what you're going to get with a car of that sort of age. Doesn't matter, I'd rather see it here than stuck at home in a shed because somebody's afraid to show it with a little bit of rust. Gorgeous little Austin 7. Loving these grills on the Austin 7. Hence why I got that similar style grill for mine, only the later hexagonal grill style, not the more rounded one, oval shape. Lovely little mini here, the black roof. And this Enreg one. Woodrum steering wheel, later SPI or MPI seats even. Full width custom dashboard, I believe. It's got a clock, it's got a radio, it's got everything you possibly want. It's even got a CB radio. On to R56 Group UK. Needs to say these are all R56 minis. All looking spectacular. I like a little Union Jack graphic on the side of that, on the door mirrors even. Oh, angry puppy look going on here. And I like the uh, A panels on this, wrapped in this sort of deathly style. Even got a little cars to advertise the group for anybody maybe looking to join if they have an F56 Mint. Sorry, R56, not F56. It's been too quickly for my own good, it would seem. This one's got a neat little roof rack as well. Love the graphics on that. Really stands out, especially down the side here. That looks cool. And you have this Clubman with the slightly odd rear doors. As we've pointed out before, big door, little door on this side. Big door, no door. That's probably the largest failure on these cars in the UK market, because of course that's the driver's side, therefore that's the side that uh, you'll be stepping out into the road from. Find this little mini with a glass roof. Sunroof even, so it'll open up and that's in fresh air. Or if in the country, not so fresh air. Black mini badge. Past that de-chromed look. It's an unusual colour on this actually, you don't see many of them in it, but I think it suits it quite nicely, especially with the uh, black detailing differences on it. We're on to Essex Mini Meets with their collection of minis. Got this Clubman here, which seems fully kitted out. Sporty looking wheels in a contrasting colour. Sunroof. Dechromed bits as well. It's quite cool. This mini catches your eye, Jess it's called. These wheels really stand out, especially with the red centre caps on them. And we're back, just been chatting with the owner of this car, number 57, with the interesting decals. Apparently he bought the car completely stock. There was no graphics on this at all, it was just white. And he's done these graphics all by himself. Bear in mind this car is not a professional vinyl wrapper or graphics person in any way, shape or form. They are a forensics worker. I'd say they've done a pretty neat job of this. I'm a huge fan of this personally. Really like it. They're also a fan of the newer shape minis as they've got four others in various different uh, our configurations, shall we say. Anyway, more minis to see here. We've got this lovely little purple mini. Sunroof again. Lovely wheels. I think those were base wheels on these minis. Either way, split rims, so maybe not. I'm not sure. Still a silver one here with black detailing. Much of the chrome has been removed, if not all of it. Like a little S-badge there in a non-standard colour. That looks cool. 
And the dashboard actually that looks really neat as well. This Mini, of course, a bit more up my street, being the classic style. No L Reg Mini, so a little bit younger than mine. But look, it's gorgeous in there. Not sure if you can see the door cards on camera too well due to the uh, lighting and the fact you can probably see my hand and me and hello. But they look absolutely awesome. Full credit to whoever owns this one. Really like it. It's done obviously in a retro style, but one of the later of the older minis. I imagine this probably started life maybe as a Mini Cooper anyway. Where it could have been a Mayfair, I'm not sure. Of course, these things get modified quite quickly and easily because there's not a lot on them really to change else. Anyway, Mini Clubman, motor one. Based upon a BMW Series 2 chassis, I believe, underneath. And it shows in the size of it, however. But never mind. There's still a Mini because it says that on the bonnet. The little convertible, lovely graphics, nice little colour scheme going on, lovely wheels. That's the thing with the minis, each mini has been customised to its owner's content. The lights in these. R56 Sheldon. Oh, I really like these little graphics on there, the fact they stick out as well. That's eye catching. I might have to get something like that for uh, for Millie and Pogo and for the Renault as well. Cooper S. A few more minis along here under the Essex Mini Meets group. A little Cooper, Cooper S even. This one's a Cooper. Cooper S, little coupe, a roadster, two roadsters in fact, both with their little tails up, looking very happy indeed. Six speed gearbox. I bet those are quite fun to drive actually, they'll have a stiffer sort of chassis on them compared to maybe even the hatchback. At least you'd think so, given the uh, extra strengthening these have got to have for obviously the uh, Fold down roof. Over to the R53 Owners Club where they have a massive array of R53 minis in various different specifications. As it goes past, mini convertible, classic style. That looks very clean. Sounds nice too. But yes, plenty of R53s over here, various conditions, various states of modification. This one's got a toe strap sticking out. Little racing number, supercharged. Grey, orange and black. I say orange, literally just the S on Cooper S. Liking the camo wrap on this one. Oh, full racing harnesses and seats in this one by the looks of it road racer even but still very cool liking the OZ wheels or OZ depends where you are from in the world not sure the boot in that is actually as big as the panda oh, I've got considering it's actually a car that I think is slightly bigger May have to try and get a Mini of this era to compare with my Panda at some point. Or similar age anyway. Over there, the Clubman, Paceman, Clubman, Countryman, and a Mini Cooper. Mini GP's rolling out. Another selection of R53s, plus the R53 Owners Club. I like the way the number plate's mounted on this one. It's very neat. Very good for show use actually, because you can just take it off quite quickly and easily. 
I like the wrap on this one. It changes colour as you view it in different lights. That's cool. The exhaust in it as well. We are now over at the Mini Girls UK stand. Angry puppy look on this one. Again, nice selection of minis over here. Fourteen ninety nine GT. Oh, okay. Good selection of cars here. Of course, as I've said previously, each one designed, styled, modified to whatever suits the owner's tastes best. We are now at the modded mini mini bits stand. Another GP located just here. Quite like the little, well I can only assume to be bonnet releases just here. That's quite cool, something different. Kill all chromes here, again as I said earlier in this video with their wrapped F56. I think it's an F56, carbon fibre fuel cap. Sort of a matte goldy colour. The one on the end is of the latest generation of the minis. You can tell the difference by the front grille between them. The later one's got an even larger front grille. Liking the scheme on this one. White, orange, grey. It's not really grey, is it? But it's a slightly different shade of white. Very cool. Little mini. Liking the custom mini badge there. Very neat, very tidy. Green and red always works well together with these. D badge mini. Like in the toe strap on this one, easily accessible when you need it. This has had some work done under the bonnet, clearly. Carbon fibre, gold wrap to uh, disperse heat better, at least reflect it back. Ooh, twin power turbo. Gold wheels. The correct year engine and all that happens. Little red door mirror caps. Deadpool plush. I'm liking the wheels on this and the brake calipers as well. This one's been lowered. This is the modified mini owners club stand. Door racing dots. Lovely traveller from the Box Hill Mini Club. It's very neat. Both wearing Dunlop D1 wheels. Does it start like a racer, this one? May well even be a racer. Ooh, loving the colour on this one. Morris Mini Minor. Or Morris Mini at least. I like the little uh, steering wheel centre line on that. That's cool. Wide arches. And a lovely colour scheme on this one. Let's start over here then, shall we? We're at the Three Counties Mini Club. Where you have minis in various different shapes, sizes, styles. And modification status. This one on the end has got an open toe strap, always easily accessible, and Angry Puppy Look going with it as well. For those of you who are new to the channel, Angry Puppy Look, basically we're trying to make it look angry and cute at the same time. 
Chris Mini here, red tyre valve cap, spotlights, red badge, love it. Love these wheels, diamond cuts, I would imagine. Colour scheme looks cool. Nice little details. Thing is with the minis that you have here, not everybody wants them to necessarily be bold. Some prefer subtle changes. A subtle change on this would be that the chrome has gone. Oh, I like the dashboard graphics on that, that's cool. Oh, I like the colour on this one, it's not too dissimilar to the colour I've got on my mini actually. Again, angry puppy look going on with this one. Little red mini. Liking the stripes. 2020 John Cooper Works Mini. Coupe again. Uh, 56. 68 plate. This movie's got an interesting scheme going on. Black and purple. Works very well together. I like the steering wheel cover. That's something different. Elephants. British Racing Green Mini with red details. As I said it over there somewhere. Red and racing green. Good little combination. This one's called Molly. And now onto the Dinky Devils. They have this rather gorgeous little classic mini convertible. It's got what looks to be a custom dashboard. Now, I don't know whether this has been done by the firm that would have presumably uh, transformed it from being a normal hardtop mini into a convertible. So I'm imagining this didn't come from factory like this somehow. Either way, it's a very cool little conversion. I really do like that dashboard. Oh, Mini with a tow bar. I like Minis with tow bars. Tomorrow will be a good day. Well, today is a good day as it turns out. This one's done the North Coast 500. I would like to do that at some point. Mini Cooper. My other car is another Mini. Clearly a huge Mini fan then. I'm liking the interior. Those seats might be from a Metro, I'm not sure. Definitely not standard in this Mini. Mini convertible over there, hiding behind the Countryman. Gives a bit of an idea of scale between the two cars. Little Mini with colour scheme going on with grey, black and blue. He'll grab some shopping or food. It is around lunchtime. Three counties mini club still. This little roadster. A coupe. Sorry, not the roadster. It is a coupe. Oh, an electric bicycle. Anyway, it's not a mini. This little mini done up in a racing style. Fits in with the dashboard as well. It's very much racing inspired. In fact, this may well be an actual racing mini. This car is for sale. Could be yours as always. And a Mini 25. Again, one of these special editions that Rover produced during the 90s to help sell more Mini models. We will come back to these Minis over here in a moment. But first, we've got a huge section of Minis over there. First off then we're greeted with this lovely little Morris Mini Miner next to Mini City, an earlier version than mine. Loving those graphics, loving those seats actually, they look really cool. Mini with de-chromed styling. Another little coupe. Mini 5 door. 
There's loads. Loads of these newer style minis here. Mini convertible. Advertising their little polishing products and cleaning products. Union Jack on the A panel. Carbon fiber style bites around that old bean wrapped by the looks of it. Ooh, colour scheme on this one. Blue with white. Looks quite rally like. Driving the wheels in this grey one. Everyone sat in their cars having lunch. Tire rising for the win. John Cooper Works Mini. Little frogs in the windscreen. British Bulldog. Having a bit of a rev off by the sounds of it. Mini GP. Oh, I do like the wheels on that blue one with the bon bon uh, bonnet bumper. Mm. Oh, yeah, over to these ones here. Not quite sure who this group is. This may well be the individual display. Let's have a look. Individual group, yes. So these are all the people that didn't come with a club. Whether they're not part of one or whether they chose not to come with a club today. Either way, you get quite a wide variety of minis in this. I know, funny that, but uh, a wide variety of old and new. Another GP. There's quite a few GPs here today, actually. Mini Cooper S. Now this is a colour I like on the newer minis, the orange on them. As I said previously, orange best colour for a car, and the mini wears it well. It's got a little bongo cast on the window. This Clubman looks really good actually. I like it, red and black. Works nicely and is practical too. It's not a JCW, is that hashtag for the silver one? Well, it's advertising what it isn't, let's put it that way. We found a Mini 1225 GT over here, gorgeous colour. And the little bonnet vents there, those are cool. Sunstrip, 10 inch wheels as well. Looking gorgeous. Mini Cooper. Elwedge Mini. Oh, Mini Sports Pack. It's 500 register this one is. 407 out of 500. 93 to go until the end. Gorgeous little Mini in white. This one here. Another car from Croker and Bridger, branches in London and Turin. Like the Rally Spotlight Bar, that's cool. Yellow, it's a yellowy orange really. Works nicely on this one. Orange here. Headlamp Peaks, liking those a lot. Mini, I'd guess this is a Mini Neon, without the graphics on it, or at least it's in the neon colour of Nordic Blue. It's a gorgeous colour. Another sports pack. Oh, it's someone's 18th birthday. I found a Mini that's owned by a 17 year old. Or at least they may have just celebrated their 18th birthday. So plenty of Minis still available for younger drivers. This one's had the smaller brake conversion because of course originally it would have been on 12 inch wheels. These are now 10 inch wheels. Very neat, liking the bumper overriders, given that sort of classic styling. As of yet, apparently it is a work in progress according to the little sign in the window. Follow them on Instagram if you want to find out more, mini underscore Margaret underscore.
Very nice little example, 1275cc as well, so a little bit more powerful than mine. Okay, this Mini's got its original number plate sketched into the window. Typical thing that was done in the past because of theft. Like the spot lamps as well. Ooh, a 970cc Mini Cooper S. These are quick, of course, being Cooper S, but designed to look very rally-like, especially with these wheels, that roof rack, the spotlights, the leather straps on the bonnet. This little Mini's got something different about it in that it's got a little bit of an eye patch, it would seem. That's cool. Loving the seats in this, actually, the details. Ooh, gorgeous. I like the speakers as well. And the sunroof. And even these uh, bumpers, these are not common on minis. And yeah, this one make it work extremely well. Little green mini. Mini sidewalk. That mini's about to leave with three people up. I will never not love the seats in the sidewalk. They look great. I'd like to get a set of these seats for my Mini one day. A Mini with an Andy Davis slash AC Dodd engine under the bonnet. MG Metro 1275 over to 1293cc, so this will be pretty damn quick to say the least. A Mini in 90s surf blue. Obviously made to look like the uh, earlier Surf Blue Minis of the 60s, this one being uh, red, so late 90s. Slightly different styling from standard with the uh, black sports pack arches, but even so, massive exhaust as well. This here would have been a base spec Mini once upon a time. You can see to give it away. The non-opening rear window also gives it away, but even so, the base minis, some of these can look really good. I speak from personal experience. It's got the Group 2 rally arches fitted. These little indicators, they're cool. Mini pickup with sports pack arches on them. Now, the longer wheelbase minis often look good with these sports pack arches on them. I don't know what it is, they just seem to suit it extremely well. Especially with the larger wheels as well. But as we said at previous shows, look how much usable space you've got in here. Plenty of room. You can see why these were so popular. Mini with the A panel with a graphic on it. With spotlights. I like these little spotlights because they don't get in the way of the actual light. This is a very deep blue on this one. Cosmic Alloys. Got a bit of modification in there with custom dashboard and centre console. I found it might be the same centre console I've got in my Mini. Only a slightly different shade of blue. Either way, it doesn't matter. All these little details add up. Liking the switches in there. Custom switchboard, switch panel. Cosmic Alloys. Clearly a lot of time has gone into this car. Orange Clubman Estate. These look really good in orange. Especially with black on them, black roof, black mirrors, arches, you name it. And a custom little boot cover as well to stop anybody from peeking in. And the best grill for these cars as well. Little Morris Mini Miner again. This time in green. A sloth tags in post obviously a reference to only fools and horses or the sniper from team fortress 2 dunlop d1s pink fluffy dice mini with spotlights body kit on this one molded seamlessly to the body looks really cool r53 mini i like this that's quite a neat little detail. Triple R com uh, composites. 
they do a lot of stuff for all sorts of brands Ford Fiestas, Minis, Corsas, Peugeots I think as well quite a few to say the least Ooh, now this is something different and quite cool LED indicator but it's styled like a Union Jack never seen that before Mini with a little bit of lack of peel, but it's not too much to worry about, I would say. Still looks in pretty good order, mostly. But again, as I said before, not every car here is going to be perfect, and I'd rather people bring them to show than to just leave them at home. A Mini Paceman all four. Plenty of details going on in there with Uni and Jack rear view mirror and i think is that on these the rev counter it is this means been done up in a racing style vehicle remapping automotive tech installation cta connect tech automotive clearly they do tuning for these cars at least I quite like, like the styling of this one. Road going race car. At least that's what the styling is meant to represent anyway. This Mini here is for sale for £6,500. Nice little example of a Mini. Fresh year from JCW. Got a list of details there. If you ever want to find out these details, pause the video. Mini Cooper S R53 here. Supercharger. Oh. Can an air filter inside that air box there. That looks slightly awkwardly moulded. Still, never mind. R50 Mini here with a roof rack. Liking this one a lot, especially the colour scheme on it. Ooh, I like the graphics on this. Those look good. I like the mix. A few minis together. I'm guessing these are a group of friends who have parked up together. Tango the Mini. Pretty sure we've seen that at a show previously. Stripes and Bolt. Bolt having won a trophy. Mini Cooper S. Gold detailing works well against the black. The Cooper Challenge 210, John Cooper works even. Cooper S. Mini Cooper located here in green. Really nice color on this, really suits it. I'm liking the graphics on this as well, although a little bit's missing there. Convertible, fan of Valentino Rossi, who has just announced his retirement. Countryman, angry puppy look with racing eyes. No cross, obviously these were there previously to stop stones from smashing up the lights whilst on a racetrack. It was designed to sort of hold it all together until he got back to the pit. Mini Cooper S. And there's still more to go. Mini Cooper 35th Anniversary Edition. Love the colour on these. I love all the details. The black wheels and very green interior to say the least. Little Mini here with carbon fibre bumpers. Not cheap. Looks cool on this one though, especially with the colour scheme they've gone for. Austin Cooper, part of the Mini Cooper register. Sliding windows as well, this will be a Mark II. Convertible. Different seats as well in there. Custom console. Not to everyone's taste, but never mind. I like them. Cooper Sports Pack in orange. 
Red Cooper Sports Pack Mini 30th edition for sale here as always could be yours like in the details on the side this pinstriping still racing style mini <laughs> people discussing their minis I mean it had its road tax disc still in it oh this one looks nice liking the little bonnet releases on it Okay, just down there at the bottom and at the top. This one's got the sidewalk interior because it too is a sidewalk despite not being the usual colour. This Mini's got a Mini Miglia Challenge Sunstripe or Sunstrip at the top of the windscreen. Little racing style window opening. Lightened cross beam. By well, lighting, I mean it's got a load of holes drilled into it. But it's got a Honda VTEC under the bonnet. Looks cool. This one's also got a Honda VTEC. As you can see, the fan's located in a different place. The radiator is also located in a different place. Custom welded little box at the back for the intakes. Looks neat on the outside. Mini Cooper, H Reg. Did used to have spotlights, doesn't currently. Little blue mini next to a larger blue mini. Making the little details on that. Oh, this looks cool. Clubman. Little red mini and a blue sports pack mini. Same wheels on this red one as my mini. There's a Spitfire, same as we saw at the Festival Italia show. Sounds good, doesn't that? Right, anyway, onto these minis. Austin Cooper S. Little red contrasting wheels, 1340cc Downton motor tuned car. This Mini's for sale, convertible, low miles, 3,995. Very cool, full service history and everything. Pause here to find out details if you want to buy this car. This could be yours. Little red Mini here. A little bit of a rough state, but as always, Prefer to see it here than tucked away in a garage. Would have been a base model, or is a base model. Given away again by the window and the seats, but either way, very cool. Cooper S R52, supercharged as well. Orange. Little mini. Nice wheels on it. This Cooper S looks quite cool. Got one of those little octopus plushes which changes depending on your mood or whichever colour you fancy, you can turn it inside out. Cool little thing, like the wheels. Mind the wheels even more than this one though. These are cool. Supercharged Cooper S. It's a little strange, isn't it, seeing the supercharged ones when the turbos have taken over in terms of car tuning and even emission lowering technology these days. Little Mini with a sunroof that's tried to be blended in with the roof a little bit. Mini van. Red wheels. Aftermarket seats. Well, they come for another car at least. Cool little thing. Mini sports pack next to another mini pickup. I like this very much. Mini JCW convertible. Mini Cooper. Loving the wheels on this one. Little Mini Cooper with fold back sunroof and yellow spots for the win. 
Another Austin Cooper. I do like these little door mirrors, they look really cool. This will be a Mark II. Mini sports pack. Some more minis at the back. Massive splitter on the front of this one. Came from a Nissan dealership, evidently. At least the Norman Blade did. Some gorgeous minis at the back. S Reg, so towards the end of the mini run, only two years prior to end of production. Mini John Cooper, or Mini Cooper with John Cooper stripe on it. Clubman, this looks lovely. I'm liking these wheels, the seats. I'm not sure the seats recline on this, doesn't look like it. I do like the steering wheel of the Clubman though, that's quite cool. And this Mini here with the tow bar. And roof rack. This would be a probably Mark Four, I want to say, but with Mark Two rear lights. Like I said with the minis, you can usually change a lot of bits on them to make them look older or slightly younger than they actually are, depending. Most people try and make them look a bit older.